What's up, friends? Right now I'm in front of the Odell Brewing Company. This is a place called Patio. Super cool spot. And right back here is Sloan's Lake. Because today's video is a virtual tour of Sloan's Lake, Denver. One of the best neighborhoods out here. Very excited to show you around. How's it going y'all? My name is Jesse Lynch. I run the hardest working real estate team in the game. We're called Welcome to Denver. You can check out our website, welcometodenver.co. But this YouTube channel is all about helping you find a place to call home, place to land here in Denver. And that's whether you're moving here from out of state or just buying a house for the first time. It's what we do, it's what we do better than anybody else. If you're into either of those things, subscribe to the channel, click that little bell, get notified, give this video a thumbs up and say what's up in the comments. I'd appreciate that very much. And while you're at it, if you're moving to Denver, do us both a favor and get a hold of us any way you can. You can check out our website, welcometodenver.co. You can email us at info at welcometodenver.co. You can check us out on Instagram at welcometodenver.co, or you can call or text the number on the screen. They all lead to moi, and I look forward very much to hearing from you. All right, right now, I'm just right across from Sloan's Lake, and these are just really good examples of sort of the progress that's going on in Sloan's Lake. These condos, apartments, townhomes, they all got kind of a modern feel. Sloan's Lake is a good one, and I'm very excited to show you around. friends right now I'm at Sloan's Lake Park in Sloan's Lake neighborhood. I'm here because this is the sort of magnet. This is the reason that people are moving here, the reason that people are building houses here, the reason that people come here, right? Sloan's Lake is about as far west as you can go and still be in Denver proper. The park has playground it has really good uh, biking and running paths if you remember the video we we're talking about best neighborhoods in Denver we talked about this neighborhood and Jen is a runner Jen's like a crazy runner I don't you know that she, <laughs> she runs so much can't even wrap my head around it but she loves to come here they have a dirt path that you can walk on which is a lot easier on the joints than you know the normal pavement Sloan's Lake is the second largest lake in all of Denver really cool lake it's got mountain views over here and city views over here check out these birds the borders of Sloan's Lake are pretty straightforward to the north you have 29th to the east you have federal to the south you have 17th and to the west you have Sheridan now again Sloan's Lake is about as far west as you can get while still being in Denver proper if you go any further west than this then technically you are in a suburb with that said you're closer to the mountains which is cool you're very far from the airport which is either not cool or you don't care at all because you're like i don't know i go there like once a year right so big deal if that's the case population of sloan's lake as far as the housing stock goes in sloan's lake it is becoming considerably more dense in that there's more multi-family buildings going in and instead of maybe single family homes you're getting duplexes and townhomes and just rather than one house sitting on a lot now you're getting two or four or a few lots you're getting big apartment buildings like that one much like the temperature today i don't know if you can tell how sweaty i am the sloan's like housing market is getting hotter and there's a good amount of competition for people who want to live in Sloan's Lake. The median list price is $765,000 and the median sales price is $825,000. So there's a gap there. So people are fighting 
to have a chance to live in this neighborhood. And luckily, I think it is ultimately a good thing that there are more highly dense buildings coming in because they're running out of space. I mean, they're fully out of space. So all they can do kind of tear down and build up denser things. Otherwise, there's no way to add supply and then the demand will just crank those costs way, way up, which they're already pretty high. Currently on the market, there's single family homes for as cheap as like $590,000. And then they go all the way up into the two millions. As far as condos and townhomes, you can find listings for as low as maybe 275, maybe $300,000. But again, those are gonna go all the way north of a million. And there are some very, very cool townhomes, duplexes, really cool spots here in Sloan's Lake. A lot of them are newer, really nicely made places, but there's still tons of cool, older character throughout the neighborhood. As far as who you're gonna see moving in here, for one, I can't say what types of people move in, but I think if you look at the kind of houses being built and a few other things, it might give you an idea, right? So for one, the houses that are being built very often are modern and they're townhomes, or at least they're just connected to a neighbor. And then another thing to sort of take note of is that the schools here are just okay. North High School gets a C plus, North International Middle School gets a C minus, and Brown International Academy, which is like K through five, gets a B. Overwhelmingly, I would say this place isn't exactly for people who are looking for the best schools. It's more for people who are looking for this lifestyle. They want this lake, they want these cool houses, they want, you know, Odell Brewing, and they want to be closer to the mountains. But enough talking about it. I'm so hot. My brain is absolutely fried right now, but let's go take a ride, shall we? All right, y'all, right now I'm just in a neighborhood that I think is a pretty good slice of Sloan's Lake. It kind of shows the past and the future, right? Basically, there are a lot of homes like this, okay? That's what was originally built here, probably back in the 50s, 60s, 70s. A lot of sort of uh, ramblers, single stories, ranches, and a whole lot of brick like that one, except that one has been super renovated, really beautiful. And you'll see some combination of old homes that are just like begging to be renovated, or you'll see <laughs> some old homes that are fully renovated, or you'll see old homes that are probably, unfortunately gonna be just leveled, scraped, and turned into, I mean, cool houses. It's a very cool house. I'm not exactly sad that house is in this neighborhood. It's beautiful, right? So anyway, this is just a good slice. I wanna show you what some of these neighborhoods feel like. They're sweet. I love like just right now where I am, there's all these mature trees, you know, these beautiful lawns and just a very established neighborhood. So when somebody scrapes a house and puts a really beautiful new thing here, I don't know, it's kind of sweet. But all right, we're, we're not just talking about that. We're talking pros and cons right now of living in Sloan's Lake. First pro, I'm gonna say, probably doesn't shock you, given that the name contains the word lake, it's that there's a lot of really amazing outdoor space. Primarily it's Sloan's Lake and Sloan's Lake Park, but that takes up such a huge chunk of this neighborhood that I feel like it's safe to say that that is a huge facet of what makes this place super, super livable. Next pro I'm gonna say is that it's very accessible to downtown. Probably 10 minutes from right here, which by the way, Sloan's Lake, right back there. 10 minutes from right here to downtown. You're also closer to the mountains because you're all the way west. I am definitely into that. Really, really, here's another pro. Beautiful views of the mountains from certain spots, okay? <laughs> this house is absolutely bananas. Uh, Banunus, as I grew up saying, and they have a stupid view. It's so cool. I wish I could, I wish this would really do it justice, but that does not do it justice at all. They have a view of Sloan's Lake, and right behind it is the Rocky Mountains. Well done. Well done, y'all. Okay, next pro is that they're 
are a lot of places to eat, a lot of like restaurants and bars and breweries and that kind of thing within Sloan's Lake. It's not the most walkable neighborhood, but there is a lot of that stuff still technically in Sloan's Lake. And there are just some cool spots too. Odell Brewing, the patio at Sloan's Lake, Snarf Burger, you know, I could go on. Next pro I'm gonna say is that even if you aren't just doing a scrape, the old houses here are super cute. I really like the character of a lot of these houses. Good example, super cute house. And that character has been maintained and I appreciate that. As much as I appreciate that giant modern house on the corner with the insane view, I also appreciate that kind of thing. And then the last pro, ah, I guess it depends on who you are, but you can literally walk to Bronco Stadium from Sloan Lake. And actually like parts of it are, may, are maybe two blocks from the Bronco Stadium entrance. So that's pretty cool. I don't know. It just kind of speaks to like how in the mix you are. That said, the first con, I know this sounds like a contradiction, but the first con is that it's not the most walkable neighborhood. For the most part, the houses are sort of quartered off and there's a residential sector and then a commercial sector, which is actually something that I like in a city for the most part. But if you live in the middle, I don't know, you're walking a ways to go to any of the conveniences that you might get in some of the other neighborhoods that are more walkable. And then the next con I'm gonna say is that some of the commercial areas in Sloan's Lake are kind of ugly. <laughs> I don't mean offense. I just think it's, it's like a little bit dingy and some of the commercial buildings just aren't super well taken care of. I think it's just a matter of time before it's fully gentrified and you know, but I guess I just wish some of the old stuff was more well taken care of so they didn't have to be gentrified. They could just stand on their own as being like super cool spots. Next con is that the prices are rising quickly. It is a Dogecoin, you know, you know what I mean? Not really, it's actually more consistently that way than Dogecoin. But yeah, as more and more people are wanting to live here, as they're building more and more condos, townhomes that are more sort of affordable for Denver while still having all these conveniences, it's getting more and more expensive very, very quickly. And that brings me to my last con, which is that there is a lot of construction going on in this neighborhood. Okay, right behind me, dumpster, you know, house being built is probably a scrape. It's really common, really common to see that here. And then when you combine that with some road construction, I don't know, it can be a little bit of a pain in the butt to navigate, but I don't know, not the end of the world. Uh, you are probably very likely to hear nail guns going off in this neighborhood though. Nail guns, not regular guns, right? Nail guns for roofs and whatever. All right, now I'm just rambling. All right, um, let's go for a ride, huh? Yeah, let's do it, okay. Right now, technically, I'm not standing in Sloan's Lake. Sloan's Lake is just across Federal right there. Um, but I just want to show you sort of the proximity to downtown, the proximity to Mile High Stadium, which is literally right there, like two blocks. It's kind of nuts. But anyways, if you've been watching these videos, you know that I do a for fans of section, as in if you're a fan of this neighborhood, you might want to check out this neighborhood, right? Or if you're a fan of another neighborhood, then maybe you'll like this one. Okay, that makes sense? Yeah. So you have enjoyed Sloan's Lake, a couple other spots that you might want to check out for varying reasons. The first one I'm going to say is Wash Park. And that's primarily because the park, right? And the lake. So if you're all about living on all the way on the other side of Sloan's Lake neighborhood by the lake, then that's gonna feel kind of similar to Wash Park, right? You got that natural beauty, but there's a lot of different things about it. The commercial spaces aren't gonna be quite as nice as Sloan's Lake. There's, there's gonna be a lot more new builds and apartments in Sloan's Lake, but 
if you want that big park, that access, then Sloan's Lake is a very good option that sort of coincides with that. However, but if you're not into the density of Sloan's Lake, check out Wash Park, okay? And I should have a video up for that very, very soon, if not already. The next spot that I'm gonna say is Rhino slash Five Points. Rhino, AKA River North, is what I think it feels most similar to Sloan's Lake is all of the progress, all of the new builds and the modern houses and the sort of modern townhomes and the dense living. Rhino is gonna feel a little bit like that, but it's gonna be even trendier. There's gonna be, you know, more breweries, more, I don't know, just restaurants and, and that kind of thing. It's definitely trendier for, for that reason. And then a few others that I think kind of vibe, kind of like Sloan's Lake, it's gonna be University Hills, Berkeley, and Whittier, okay? That's just more of a vibe. It's gonna feel kind of like that. So check those out. But all right, I appreciate y'all watching this. Check this out. That was not a very long walk at all. And I'm basically in the front yard of uh, Mile High Stadium. Pretty neat, it's so bright. All right, I'm gonna end this video. Sunglasses on like a cool guy. If you are considering a move from here to beautiful, beautiful Denver, Colorado, do whatever you can to get a hold of us. You can check out our website, welcome to denver.co. You can email us at info at welcome to denver.co. You can check us out on Instagram at welcome to denver.co. Or you can call or text the number on the screen. Whatever you got to do, do it. I look forward to hearing from you very much. And as always, as you exit this video, please do so safely. Subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified. Give the video a thumbs up and say what's up in the comments. Whew, mile high for real. And it's also a solid 100 degrees out today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Seriously, give me the thumbs up because I am boiling. I'm almost on fire. All right, y'all, take it easy. I will see you in the next one. Right, let me, can I football throw you?